Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing good today. Just getting ready to start the last day of practice here at Lake the Ozarks for the Toyota Series starting tomorrow. And got Kim with me today practicing, so we're gonna go out here and see if we can figure a few things out. So come along and join us, see how it goes. Hey everybody, little midday update here at uh, Lake the Ozarks Toyota Series. Man, it's still pretty tough out there. Um, like I said, the water's starting to warm up a little bit. It's, be, it's been getting a little bit warmer every single day. Um, right now, you know, we've got water temperatures that are up probably two or three degrees from that were two or three days ago. But um, still, there's not a lot of good ones that have started moving up yet. I think every day they're going to start moving up just a little bit more. Um, I'm still just trying to get a feel for it right now. But I know that in this particular tournament, you can't really fish the conditions that you have now. You have to fish for the conditions you're going to have in the tournament. So a lot of the places that I'm fishing, I'm sort of anticipating the fish to be at, and they're not really out right now. But anyway, got Kim out here with me today. She's practicing, she's on the camera. Um, so we're gonna, got a couple more hours left, and we're gonna keep working at it. So we'll give the report at the end of the day here. Talk to you later. Well, here's the deal that's making the fishing really tough right now. As you know, you can see all these dead shad right here. Most of these are gizzard shad, <clears throat> probably about six, seven inch gizzard shad, fairly large. But, you know, when you got this combined with, like, water temperatures, you know, around upper 30s, right around 40 degrees, you know, that's going to make the fishing tough anywhere right now. And this is what everybody's going to be dealing with here at Lake of the Ozarks this week. Um, man, a bunch of them on the bank there. Just figuring out, you know, how to catch these fish that are already stuffed on shad. So, a uh, little quick look there. Hey everybody, just finished up the last practice day here at Lake of the Ozarks for the Toyota Series Tournament starting tomorrow. And Kim had a chance to go with me today. Uh, we don't get a chance to fish practice very often, do yeah, we? Yeah, not very often at all. Yeah, we're, we're always with four kids and, you know, it's really busy. Kim working and, yeah, me busy. It's just mm -hmm. hard to get away. But we only live a little, little over an hour away from Lake of the Ozarks, so we dropped Elijah off this morning and came up here to finish the practice off. And um, I really thought... I wanted to bring Kim along for a lot of different reasons, but she's really good with a jerk bait, and um, even she had a tough time catching them on a jerk bait today. So yeah, I know it's, it wasn't it, working today. It's pretty tough. That's actually how we met. I saw a picture of her holding up a big smallmouth. So that was a story in its own there. But anyway, fishing here. You know, a little report as far as the the wrap up. You know, I practiced for you know two and a half days for this tournament. Um, the first two days of practice, if you guys watch the other videos, it was iced up. Half the lake was iced. It's all gone now. It's been pretty warm the last couple of days. And uh, it's probably, what, 65 right mm -hmm. now? 60, 65. Yeah, it's pretty nice. But still, even though it feels warm, the water is still super cold. It's still in the upper 30s for the most part, around 40. Um, still a lot of dead shad, uh, and even though it feels like the fish should be biting, you know, everything is really sluggish and behind with the cold water and the dead shad right now. But as far as for me tomorrow, from what I've seen the last couple of days, I've, you know, I, I wound up catching them today about the same way I'd been catching them the last two days in a different part of the lake. So I got to make a decision on what part of the lake I want to go to. Um, they got two different patterns that seem to be working. Um, a lot of it just depends on what's going to unfold the next couple days because what you caught in practice in this practice doesn't really make any difference because the conditions are rapidly changing you know with the lake being thawed out this thing was froze over solid you know a week ago and you know now it's warming up every day so my plan in the tournament is i'm gonna i'm gonna fish a lot of new places a lot of places i haven't even fished in practice uh, sort of anticipating those fish to move up into that water and the ones that I caught today, I mean, they're sort of on those type of places where I expect them to be. And I know a lot of different places like that. Lake of the Ozarks is a really good pattern lake. So I'll be able to maybe run that pattern. Hopefully some good ones will move up on some of that type of stuff I'm looking for. But I still look for this tournament to be super tough. I mean, I don't, I don't think it's gonna be a good tournament. It's just, it's, it just seems like it's really hard to get a bite. And, I mean, yeah, it has been and, and today. Yeah, it's like, uh, so, but I mean, I like tur tough tournaments. I mean, that's the thing about it. It's like when you have a tough tournament, you sort of have to fish the conditions, fish the moment uh, for what it is because everything changes so quick during the early pre-spawn like this with that warm and water. You got a lot of fish that are suspended right now. They're going to start moving towards the bank. 
and even though the water's cold, these big fish, they want to be shallow. I mean, it's it's in their biological rhythm to move shallow to get ready to spawn. So uh, a lot of those big ones that are suspended and have been suspended, I look for them to move up and uh, get maybe a little bit more catchable in the tournament. Like, again, I don't think it's going to be a great tournament. I think it's going to be a grind. I think there'll be some, some good fish caught up overall. I think it's going to be a, a grind on that. So. But anyway, just wanted to check in with you guys. Uh, we'll keep you updated tomorrow, let you know how it goes. Um, pretty excited anyway to get out there, and we're going to head back and get Elijah. Yep. Take care. So anyway, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks, yeah. thanks for tuning in. Bye.